naughty, naughty, naughty. This is from Bad. Bad is the word. Michael Jackson's album. The way you make me feel. Sunshine Radio 97, 107 News is next. So now that the owner of one of London's more successful pirate radio stations, London Greek Radio, has withdrawn from the Riviera scene with Sunshine, what does that leave? Radio Nova, Dream Music, FM 101. Broadcasting Radio North here is now closing down until 6 a.m. Please rejoin us then. We broadcast on 220 meters, 1,367 kilohertz in the medium wave, in short wave at 6,205 kilohertz in the 49 meter band, and on FM at 100 megahertz. That was Anne West during his days at Radio North Sea International. That was a pop music radio ship that anchored just off the Dutch coast in the early 70s. How does life on the Riviera compare with those offshore days? Oh, it's uh, not half as much fun, and the studio doesn't move, but, uh, but I, like, I like the lifestyle. I look back on those uh, floating days with, with fondness, rather like an adult looks back on his childhood. I now find more interest and satisfaction in what I do. It's rather more serious, um, but still there's, you know, there's a degree of fun, but uh, it's, it's more adult. But do you think things in general in Europe are going towards FM as opposed to the AM? Because obviously you've got the, the stations going uh, still from the North Sea. Here on continental Europe, certainly in the south, from Belgium southwards, my impression is that radio is now almost completely FM. I have yet to hear anybody where I live listening to an AM station. <laughs> Radio North Sea had shortwave facilities back in the 70s, so the latest move by Radio Caroline for offshore shortwave from the North Sea isn't a new idea at all. Yes, indeed. We had two shortwave transmitters. Did you get much reaction to those? Um, yes, well, the 49-meter band transmitter got us um, quite a long way, actually, uh, well, certainly all over Europe, and we got a good deal of response from that. The few times that the 31-meter band transmitter was on the air, we did get reaction from very far away. I seem to remember we even had a, re a reception report from somebody on one of the research stations in Antarctica. Well, what's your fascination with shortwave, bearing in mind that during the day you're working with high-quality FM stereo? I just like uh, listening to shortwave radio. Uh, I like the uh, thrill of hearing a uh, radio station from the, uh, the far side of the globe in a language that I don't even understand. I still find it fascinating to listen to. That may sound a funny statement if you analyse it, but I think we know what he means. So, now to some media tuning suggestions. Music 